In show number four, air 7, 10, 75, ETR 6, 24, 75, take one. Welcome to the magnificent marble machine. That machine is where the payoff is, where one of our players may win cash and prizes totaling 10, 20, maybe $50,000 or more. Now, each of our players will be teamed with a celebrity partner, and right now, let's meet our two stars. Two of the greatest pinball players of all time, Florence Henderson and Roddy McDowell. How are you? Roddy? You know, you know, this is the uh, fourth day that uh, the no, two of you are with us. The third day. It just seems like the fourth day. <laughs> no, this is the fourth day. I, because I keep missing so much. <laughs> no. But you did very well on the machine. It, it's the fourth day, Roddy. You're it's really in trouble. Day. Yes, darling. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's the third day. He's on tape at the moment. But anyway, <laughs> let's find out who your partners are. Okay, back. Uh, yes, Roddy's partner is a manager from San Bernardino, California. Once again, it's Gary Cornell. And here is a teacher from Encino, Bobby Feinstein. Bobby Feinstein, this is the first time we have the chance to meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm from Encino, and I have a wonderful husband and two little boys. Hi, kids. <laughs> and, um, Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm an ex-school teacher, and I'm involved in a lot of craft activities at this point. Very good. We're out of time for now, folks. <laughs> but the object of the game is to get to play that machine right behind us, which uh, Gary does very well. But before you can do it, you have to earn your marbles. So everybody, in position, let's go, and we'll get started with the magnificent marble machine right after this work. Okay, here's how the magnificent marble machine works. First, we'll show you how many words there are in the answer we're looking for. Uh, this answer has six letters. Then we'll uh, give the clue to that answer. It'll start to travel across our message board. As soon as you think you know the answer, press your button and take a guess. But you must give us the answer exactly as it appears. Now, our two contestants will compete in the first round, then our two stars. And the first team to score five points wins the match, gets to play the magnificent marble machine. All right, contestants, uh, Bobby and Gary, you put your hands on your buzzers. Stars, very important, you may not get involved. You'll have your chance in a moment. You cannot help our two contestants. And let's see how many words there are in this first answer. Three words, here comes your clue. The president's pad. Yes, Gary the White Cole. House. The White House is right, and Gary's on the board. The answer was the White House, which is the president's pad. Now, you've got one point for your team, but it takes five points to win the game, and here we go with our round two. Stars, hands on buzzers. Yes. Mm. Let's see how many words there are in this answer. It's one word. What are the biggest things on this part of Liz Taylor's body? Fingers, yes, Florence Henderson. She does not know, Please, which means Roddy McDowell, we're going to give you five seconds to come up with the correct answer. Now, the entire clue is revealed, so we'll center it for you. And we'll also reveal the first letter of this answer and give you five seconds. Here's the letter. Biggest things on, show the letter. Biggest things on this part of this Taylor's body. Yes. Diamonds. Diamonds is right. Lawrence, you're a little too fast there, so it's important to wait for, you know, more significant yeah. parts of the clue, but she's... You didn't that... tell me how many letters, and I said rings. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got the right uh, instinct for this game, Florence. Yeah, it's bad news. We'll be on the board in a minute here. We're back to the contestants. So, uh, here we go, Bobby and Gary. Let's see how many words in this answer. Two words. Tell me the special kind of embrace you'd expect from this character. Smokey. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of a brace, Bobby? Bear hug. You're right. Oh. And they have a point. Roddy and Gary leading by 
two to one. We are back to the stars. Ready, Florence? Here we go, Roddy. It's uh, how many words in this answer? One word. Here comes your clue. Beatles, Miss Rigby. Uh, yes, Roddy was first. Eleanor. He says Eleanor, and he is right. And that is three points. Remember, it takes five points to get to the Magnificent Marble Machine, and this may be the day that somebody hits our point total and gets to play the all-cash marble machine with that very valuable gold ball. All right, uh, we are to the contestants who are back in play. Stars, you may not help. Here we go. Let's see how many words in this answer. One word. Here comes the clue. JJ's word. Yeah, Bobby? Dynamite. Yes, that's it. Dynamite. It's three to two. We'll be back to this very close match in just a moment. But first, we have this for you to look at. Watch. Well, we have some great prizes on the Magnificent Marble Machine, and here is Johnny Gilbert to tell you about a couple of them. A 1975 Opel Manta two-door coupe, finely designed and crafted with the economical fuel-injected four-cylinder engine, and the Guppy 13, designed for family fun, handles easily, cabin sleeps too, with cockpit storage compartments and self-riding feature, complete with custom-designed Guppy trailer, furnished by Mellon Marine Limited. And now, back to the Magnificent Marble Machine and Art Jay. Thank you. It's a close match, and incidentally, Roddy and Gary, in their last turn at the Magnificent Marble Machine, did the best of uh, anybody so far. They're in the lead now, three to two, but it takes five to win the game. Our stars are in play. Contestants, you may not help. Let's take a look at the number of words in this next answer. It's three words. Where in the White House might the president go when he feels like this? Very, very, yes, Roddy McDowell. The Blue Room? That's right, the White House has the Blue Room. And when the president's very, very sad, that's where he would go. That was good. That was kind of a cute oblique uh, clue, but he yeah. got it. You've got a good team captain there, Gary. Terrific. All right, but uh, Florence and uh, Bobby, you've got to get busy here now. We'll bounce back. Come on. Contestants, you are back in play. Let's see how many words in this answer. Two words. Here comes the clue. Driven by Trevino. All right, if you answer correctly, Gary, you've got the game. Golf, golf drive. No, that's wrong. All right, Bobby, we're going to you and we'll give you five seconds. We'll help you along by showing you the first letter of the answer. Your time starts as soon as you see it. Here it is. G. Golf balls. Yes, golf balls. Very important, that puts you only one point behind. All right, Roddy and Florence, it's up to you. Here we go. Let's see how many words in this answer. Three words. Here comes your clue. She carries a torch. Roddy McDowell, if you're right, you win. Ah! What? Statue of Liberty. That's right. Ah! We'll win again. are going to get richer. Gary can hardly wait to get to the Marvel machine with uh, uh, Roddy. But anyway, Bobby, your stay with us was all too brief. Nevertheless, you've got some nice gifts just for being with us and hope you had fun. Thank Thanks you very much. All right, Florence, you sit tight. You'll be back in the game in just a moment. But to Roddy and Gary Cornell, here's the moment you've been waiting for, your chance to go. And they're on their way already to the Magnificent Marble Machine. <laughs> Here it is. Gary and Roddy, Gary especially, your chance to win some fabulous winnings. We start with all the bumpers dark, right? There is a prize connected with every numbered bumper on this machine. Hit bumper number four, and Gary Cornell, you will win a trip to Acapulco. Or oh, listen to this. Hit bumpers number two and three, and you're going to win a boat. Now, what's more, every time your ball hits a bumper or anything else that makes a sound, you will score 200 points. Now, if you and Roddy score enough points to hit our goal, you'll get a chance to play one money ball that could be worth a fortune. The goal was not hit last time, so we dropped it 1,000 points. It is now 
10,000 points. Now, of course, when the ball drops into this hole at the bottom, or this hole up here, it is dead, but for 60 seconds, you can keep it in play by using your flippers like this. This is the flipper that Roddy McDowell will be operating for the first part of our play with the magnificent marble machine. You know how to use that plunger, don't you, Gary? Grab a hold of it and propel the marble on its way. Here we go. Seconds of measurable sound, and the flippers will go dead, but the ball will still be in play. And you're already up to a thousand points. You've got half of the boat. Here's the flipper. It's the way to do it, Roddy. You've also got traveler's checks. All right, you've got 2,400 points going for 10,000. It's the way to do it, Roddy. You saved it that time, 2,800. Here we go, Gary. Send it on its way. Don't go in that hole. It's coming down again. this. You've got two prizes, half of the boat. All you need is a number three bumper to get the rest of the boat. And you're over halfway to your goal of 10,000 points with 5,400. Stand by, take a breather. We'll be right back. New players on the Magnificent Marble Machine got some very nice gifts just by being with us. Right, John? Right you are, Art. A weekend for two at the Marriott Newport Resort Hotel overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Champagne dinners at any of four restaurants, elegance and hospitality, the Newport Beach Marriott. And the clock radio from the famous Spiegel catalog with more than 500 pages, new twice a year with over 50,000 items, providing value, selection, and economy, Spiegel. We'll be back to the Magnificent Marble Machine right after this. This could be it, the first time anybody hits our goal, which is 10,000 points. You're over halfway there with 5,400, and if you hit the goal, Gary, you'll be using the gold ball where every bumper is worth $200. All right, but you have to earn it by hitting the goal, and with Roddy's help, you could do it. So, Roddy, you're at the plunger. Hold it back and let her go. And the ball's flying up in the machine. Time for 10,000 points, and if you hit the number three bumper, you've got the uh, boat. Hey, this could be it. to perfection. You hit the goal, you have every prize in the machine, and that means in just a moment you get a chance at our money ball. But first, let's see what prizes you've won so far. Here comes Johnny. Yes, here they are. On bumper number one, you've won $500 worth of traveler's checks, $500 in protected money for your traveling, courtesy of the magnificent marble machine. Bumper number seven, a library of 40 records, including Marine McGovern's Academy Award performance furnished by 20th Century Records. Bumper number six, a $500 jewelry treasure and chest, including necklaces, earrings, rings, everything to add a special sparkle and glow wherever you go, furnished by Celebrity Jewelry. On bumper number five, a solid walnut 74-inch grandfather clock with moving moon dial to enhance the beauty and charm of your home, furnished by the Emperor Clock Company. Bumper number four, we'll fly you from Los Angeles for a week for two at the El Presidente Hotel in Acapulco. A luxury hotel with twin towers on the sea, beach, pool, and gardens. Restaurants, bars, and lounges feature Mexican and international specialties furnished by Americana Hotels. And yes, you've won that brand new Guppy 13 sailboat worth over $2,000 with our congratulations from the magnificent Marble Machine. seem costly.
possible to top your total winnings so far of $8,664 in prizes, Gary Cornell, but this could do it. Suddenly, everything on the magnificent marble machine is worth not points, not prizes, but money, cold cash. Every time this gold ball hits anything that makes a sound, you'll win $200. You may keep going as long as you can keep your ball in play, but of course, at the end of 60 seconds, you may not use your flippers. Good, no telling how much money he could win. Excuse me, I have to cross over here and place the gold ball into the machine. All right, if you excuse me, I'll take my position over here. Good luck to you, Gary. Everything is cash. Hold back that plunger. He's up to a thousand dollars already. A thousand four, a thousand six hundred dollars. He's up to two thousand dollars. Over two thousand dollars. One of three thousand dollars. And he's keeping the bell around in the machine. All right, it's time momentarily here. Here's that bell around. That's the way to do it. Three thousand four hundred dollars so far. It's still got time. Here's that flipper. Send the ball up. There it goes. Wow. Gary Cornell won $4,800 in cash on the Magnificent Marble Machine, has total winnings in cash and prizes so far of $13,464. Wow. Well, this is our very first week of play. And Gary, you're setting a fine example for all the opponents to follow you. We have a fresh one for you right now, and let's meet her now through Johnny Gilbert. Okay, Art, this is a homemaker from Huntington Beach, California. Say hello to Lynn Winger. Hi, Lynn. Is that what keeps you busy uh, most of the time, uh, keeping house? Tell us about your family. How big is it? I have a, a delightful husband and a darling daughter, five. Had a girl. Well, listen, you've got a great team captain there, Roddy McDowell. Yes, yes, we, uh, after each win, we switch. Uh, Gary Cornell is now with Florence Henderson. It takes five points to win our little game, and contestants always go first. So, Lynn, good luck. Hands on buzzers. Gary, you've got yours there. Contestants play. Stars, you may not help. Let's see how many words there are in this first answer. It's one word. Here comes the clue. Big Mexican... Well, Lynn thinks she knows. Sombrero. That's right, because Big Mexican Hat is the entire clue. And look at that. Very demurely walks on and gets right on the board. But it takes five to win the game. Let's go to the stars who will be in action with this next answer, which has how many words? Let's see. Two words. Stars, name the man who always says this line on TV. Lawrence is quick, and she says, Ed McMahon. He always says, here's Johnny. And you've just put your team in a tie with Roddy McDowell and Lynn. All right, contestants, you're back in. No help from the stars. Let's see how many words in this answer. One word, five letters. Here comes your clue. Black, white, and smelly is the clue. <laughs> you can't help, Florence. Contestants, uh, you don't know? All right, we'll reveal letters for you. And the first one with the correct answer. Here's the first one. Yes. Florence, here comes our next letter. Yes. All right, Florence, you'll have a chance to release your uh, frustrations here by putting your hand on the buzzer and seeing if okay. you can beat Roddy to this answer. Let's see how many words in this answer. One word. What kind of lady can be recognized by this? Her scaly bottom. Yes, Florence. Mermaid. That's right. You can tell a mermaid every time that way. 
the heartbreak of a scaly bottom. All right, all right, it's three to one. It takes five to win the game, and the contestants are back in. Here we go, let's see how many words in this answer. Two words, name the movie actor who co-starred with these unforgettable performers. An ape and a... Yes, Gary. Ready, McDowell. That's right, he starred with an ape together with a colleague. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just at the point where Florence and Gary were red hot, we have to stop the match because that signal means our time oh. is up for today. Out of time, we'll be back to see how things stand right after this. Watch. What a dynamite show, Florence. You're playing just brilliantly at the game. Let's see if we can pick up the pace tomorrow. Roddy, fantastic at the machine. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow on the magnificent Marble Machine. Bye-bye. studio audience are eligible to receive new Ogilvy Dab Curl home permanent with mint scented waiting lotion and an exclusive dab on dispenser. Ogilvy, we know how to treat your hair. Plus, soon as you see that golden brown cup and taste the first mouth-watering bite, you'll know that no other food can match a Kentucky Fried Chicken Day. And world-famous Ball Bar's assortment, including cocoa buttercream, new stretch mark, beautiful crayons, nail grow, plus lateral rich cream with Ball Bar. Also, treat your kids to a good, hot, nourishing dish. Serve Franco-American spaghetti or spaghettios. They only cost about 15 cents for a seven and a half pound serving. Plus, post great nut plate. A hearty breakfast cereal with a delicious taste of crisp whole wheat. Try great nut plate on your next breakfast. And recipe, the balanced dinner's Lassie Fries on. Good tasting meat plus other nutrients every dog should have. Recipe, Lassie Fries on. Announced price of the automobile, Navy Change, due to availability. All air fares are based on hygienic comedy, Los Angeles departure. Hotel accommodations are limited to certain months and subject to availability.